way. Almost there, or at least as far as I can take you. I've seen this. This moment. I'm sorry, my friend. This is as far as I can take you. supposed to do you have any idea what you've done what sort of power you're playing with you absorbed everything he was everything he would do you changed the weave of destiny itself because of you there are deeds he won't do children of his that won't be born victims that won't die when they were supposed to Yes, I'm aware, but there's still no telling what damage you could do if you aren't careful. You're much more dangerous than I thought. We need to get you to the Theater of Fate right away.
Theater of fate. I never thought I'd see it. We Fate Weavers never fully understood the power of this place. Seems there's a lot we don't understand. <laughs> Gods, I should have brought another bottle. Yeah. <laughs> 
No surprise a Niskaru found its way to this place of power. Everything about these ruins is dedicated to this room, and at the center of it all is the Destiny Stone. With it, the Fae taught the Fate Weavers the answers to the deepest mysteries of fate. Put your hands on the stone, and maybe we can find answers to your own mysteries. This temple was built by the Arathi, and it's been here as long as recorded history. But the Destiny Stone was made by the first Fate Weavers. The legends say that they drew on ageless wisdom to build the stone. But with our order so scattered now, it hasn't been used in years. The Niskaru are hideous creatures of chaos and corruption. They hated the Arathi, but unlike them, the Niskaru still stalk our world. Thankfully, they've mostly been driven back from the Feylands, but you still find a few lurking deep underground. Just put your hand on the Destiny Stone. It'll show me where you fit into the Tapestry of Fate. Hmm. The Destiny Stone came apart at your touch. And all around you, the tapestry of fate, unweaving itself. And there, at the core, was the Codex of Destiny. The wisdom that the Fae used to help the first Fate Weavers understand the nature of the Weave. Don't you see what this means? Yes, yes, it is. And from what I can tell, you're the one changing it. With every breath, you're changing how lives begin and end. The way the Codex of Destiny came to you out of the stone. That's got to mean something, too. But I'll be damned if I can read this thing. As dangerous as an open flame, you could help people or destroy them entirely. When you get involved, there's no grand cosmic plan. Only freedom and all the dangers that come with it. And that means I owe you a... Uh... Wait. What's that? Purge the abomination! In the name of God's law! Now this looks like some fun. know you're not working with the top Wafa. I don't care if you trust me. I'm much more interested in your friend here. I'm beginning to think that these Tuatha don't like you. Now why do you think that might be? After all, someone who can change the fate of the world, who wouldn't want you? I'm not sure, but they're very well informed about your location. They came straight here from Diden Hill, but they're not nearly as interesting as you. Especially now that they're dead. Now it's my turn. Why are you here? Ha! Knowing the future is for fools. Who reads the end of a book before it's time? Save your attention for the present. Like that codex you found? Our scholars thought those were all gone from the world. But you're just full of surprises. Good luck understanding it. That's Fey knowledge. They don't even have a written language. The stone is simply embedded with what they know, unseeable to mortals. Why worry about the little fish? 
when deeper waters hold the more interesting secrets. There's more to this than you understand. I don't have the answers for you, but I know someone who might. When you're ready, meet me at the House of Ballads. I'm sure the Fae would love to meet you. Be on your way. We can't trust her. Never met a Darklefar who'd give me a straight answer even with a sword at their throat. But she wasn't wrong about that codex. Just be careful doing anything she suggests. Meanwhile, we can't just ignore the Tawatha that are tracking you. We need to do something about them. She said they came through Dyden Hill, didn't she? They don't belong in these lands, so they probably left a trail wide as an Eden's backside. Meet me there, and we'll track them down. Maybe we can find out why they're after you. Or at least how they can find you so easily. I've got some final rites to perform before I leave this place. Good luck. Come in. Dip.
start any trouble. What is it? What do you need? So long. Come in. You wouldn't believe how busy we've been since that fail. arrived. Goodbye. I'll kill you all if I have to. <coughs> Damn boggarts. <coughs> uh, give me a moment. Suddenly, very dizzy. They're out in droves. I don't know why, but Kester might. He returned from a scouting mission not long ago. Dyden Hill's Warden. That means he sees to things, keeps us safe and the like. It's the blood plague. <coughs> the Bargats carry it. Nearly all of the village has been infected. Most don't die from it, but it can weaken a man fiercely. Without a cure, the village won't last much longer. Dyden Hill is a haven for those traveling from Gorehart to Galifor. But now, nowhere is safe. Aside from the boggarts and blood plague? <coughs> Look, you should turn around and go. <coughs> go somewhere safe. This is no place for visitors right now. Kester Barclay would know far better than me. He's in the town square. Go and ask him yourself. <coughs> <coughs>
Guess to talk to you later. Come to town for the farm call. Yes? Why, Miss Saru, what is it you... Oh, uh, hello. Uh, did Thaddeus send you? Kester Barclay, my apologies. I don't mean to be rude. This crisis has me a bit on edge. He won't likely kill you. Leave you weak as a kitten there. Around here, that's as good as dead. We're simple people here. Merchants, tradesmen. We're not equipped to deal with a threat like this. I grew up here. Seems like only yesterday I went to fight in the war. When I got back, I was the toast of the town. Thought I was through with all that fighting. That boy needs to rest. He's got the cough. Won't listen to me or his own brother. Yes, that's it. Did Thaddeus tell you? The Boggarts carry it in their venom, and they're spreading it everywhere. Normally, the things keep to themselves. Looks like some Jotun got into their lair, though. Force the Boggarts out. I can't, but Astrid Frisk, our healer, can. That is, when she has the medicine to treat it. We've been running low. More should have arrived this morning. You can ask her about it if you're curious. You're either brave or a fool. But if you could kill the Jotun, perhaps the Boggarts would leave us alone. All right. Travel north to the Boggarts' lair in Coilsbane, and clear out their cave. Our own healer. As you can imagine, she's hardly slept since the outbreak. If you think you can be of any help, you most likely find her in her cottage, tending to the sick. Lumbering brutes. Almost twice as tall as a man and just as wide. Why they came to Glendara is anyone's guess. They just showed up one day. We weren't going to stop them. Coilsbane is a boggart cave just north of town. Well, it used to be anyway. A while back, some Jotun started digging in the caves. They drove the Boggarts out, and right into our town. Don't know what the Jotun were looking for, or if they've found it, and I don't care. I just want them gone. A single Boggart we can handle, but ten? Twenty? It's only a matter of time before the whole town is infected. I can't allow them to run around unchecked, putting all the folks here at risk. Driving the Jotun from Coils, Ben, would be the best thing you could do for us. Of course, Astrid Frisk could probably use some help as well. Until later, then.
Logris, you surprised me. What are you doing down here? I see my Jotun have failed at their orders. But did Padaxes send you? Lysander, perhaps? Tell me! Those fools have no idea what I'm capable of. Which is obvious if you're all they sent to stop me. You act as though you're surprised to find me here. As if you weren't sent here to stop me, my pursuit. But you're too late. Even now, my deathless servants rise from centuries of slumber. It is clear I cannot let you live. But answer me this, and I'll grant you a swift death. Which one sent you? Was it Padaxis or Lysander? As if the Onyx Tower and the Rose Corp has- <laughs> 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 You're back. Glad to see you made her out of there alive. We felt the earth shake, and when you hadn't returned. But no matter. Our town is forever in your debt. Please, take this. It's not much, after all you've done, but 
We would like you to have it. The Boggarts will always trouble Daiden Hill. As long as we can keep a supply of Plague Shield, we'll survive this malady. Disgusting little fey vermin. We're all glad to be rid of them. More ruins beneath the caverns, you say? I wonder who was there before the Boggarts moved in. Well, we've weathered this storm. Pray Mitharu we weather the next. I hope that's the last I see of those brutes in Daiden Hill. Or anywhere for that matter. The town gets healthier by the day. Now that those little beasts are back in their den. Until later then. Welcome to our famed craft. If you've come to buy, you may speak with Olin. It was my dream to gather all our artisans. Our doors are always open.
Interested in blacksmithing or alchemy? You're welcome. Welcome to our equipment. Come back anytime. So It's safe to venture out again. <coughs> Don't mind that. I'm it's the only thing for blood plague. Shame it's... Talk to you later.